Saw 3 dismembers its way into theaters this Friday. And to celebrate, we're breaking down the top five things you'll never hear Jigsaw say. Here to present the list is the psycho dealer of death himself, Jigsaw. Let's get it started, folks, with number five. Would you like to play a game? Warcraft Guild is planning a raid tonight, and we need a, we need a disc healer, preferably with spirit buff. <laughs> I didn't I didn't fancy him a, a WoW player. All right, number four. You have 20 minutes to get the keys out of my car. <laughs> Seriously, I lock them inside. I always lock them inside. I can see them on the seat. <laughs> All right, so number three. In the kitchen, I've placed all the elements for a sandwich. You must assemble the sandwich and bring it to me before lunch. It's up to you to decide whether I want ham or pastrami. Mm, that's a good, good choice. All right, number two, folks. The only way out of this room is to find the key. And, oh wait, you uh, found the key already. I guess I should have made that one harder. <laughs> and the number one thing you will never hear Jigsaw say. Oh, yes. There will be kittens. <laughs> Come on, it's Jigsaw, everybody. <laughs> Let's welcome, welcome Jigsaw himself, Tobin Bell, to the show. Tobin, welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. That was, <laughs> I think Jigsaw might say some of those things. There's a chance. Saw 15, he yeah, might be uh, well, running out of things. He probably does say those things to Amanda in the quiet of his lair at <laughs> night. Yeah. Now, this, Despite the fact that my own shadow tends to freak me out, I'm easily startled. Yeah. You, you, you're not very scary in person, Tobin, but I, I was hearing stories that you manage to freak out people uh, in, in, when you're, during your daily routine from time to time. Well, it doesn't happen very often. It, it happened most recently in a restaurant in Toronto. I uh, ran out of the hotel one night and uh, came into this restaurant, and I had thrown on my uh, my hooded sweatshirt with a right. zipper. Rainy and, night. Right? Rainy night. So it's hey, pouring rain. You're wearing a hoodie. Exactly. Wearing a hoodie. Uh, I went into the restaurant. It's 1130 or so. Most of the people are gone. There's a little 20-year-old uh, waitress uh, behind the bar cleaning up the skids, scraping them or whatever she was doing. And I looked at the menu, and she came, can I help you? And she went, aha, oh, my God, my God, I won't be able to sleep. I won't be able to sleep. Oh, no. And I said, darling, wait, come, come. Did, come. You, did you ask for anything, for a cup of coffee? I, I, I ordered an arugula salad <laughs> uh, eventually now, after, you, after I calmed her down. Do you threaten her with death if she doesn't deliver it exactly to your specifications? Or No, no. I, we became fast friends, and I, uh, I made uh, friends with all of her friends. And oh, good. I was there for two weeks, so uh, I went back into the restaurant repeatedly and... Uh, and we had a lot of fun together. Sans hoodie, I hope. You know? Sans hoodie. Okay, it good. was the hoodie, I think, that set her off. Yeah, you know? at, at that time of night right. and in the pouring rain, I right. think so. I think yeah. that might work. Yeah. Now, you know, Saw 1, I, I mean, at least for me, the original Saw came out of nowhere. And it, it really kind of took the horror scene and then took everybody by storm. Did you, you know, at the time when you're doing this film, did you, did you think it was going to turn into this franchise and have such a huge following? No, I, uh, you know, I, I spent most of the film lying in a pool of blood on the, <laughs> on the, in the center of the floor. So, uh uh, it was a surprise to all of us. We were, uh, and, and a pleasant surprise because uh, it, uh, you know, I had a car payment or two that I needed to make, and uh, it has paid for a few of those. Right now, now you just you, you change you, you change cars like you change underwear, right? You have a Hummer for every day of the week, and no. it matches your shoes. Actually, or? I uh, I drive an old Bronco, is what I drive. Nice. Yeah, yeah, is it yeah. is it like the Al Cowling's edition, or is this? No, it's the yeah, it's actually it is. It's a ninety one. See, were, there but we they, go. No, they were driving a ninety three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it a big? Is it still a big white box? It's a, or? It's a big uh, black box big white with box. a tan roof. <laughs> Yeah. Now, why haven't you upgraded here? I mean, come on, you've got some saw dollars I'm running. I'm very, in. very fond of that old car, really? and it's running like a top. And uh, I take the, uh, the the roof comes off in the summertime, so uh, it turns into like a open air truck. 
So what are you blowing the saw money on then, Tobin? Come on. I mean, we've got, I, mean, I know you, you, roll in, you roll over, your bed is made of money, <laughs> we and you st- roll around we with it? We started remodeling our house. And uh, so, as you know, remodels become, you start out doing one thing, but that's connected to that, and that's connected to that. And before you know it, you're rebuilding the house. And do you, are, you, are, you, are you leaving the blood stains in the bathroom with the chains and all the other torture devices? Or? Uh, well, I imagine yeah, your not, bathroom looks exactly like uh, the one from Saw. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. My wife would never put up with that. No. She's, you know, she's over at Snyder Diamond picking a little. Yeah, of course. That, that's where it goes. That's why that's you're where it the goes. Go. Yeah. Now, now, how was three? You know, we, we had uh, the, we were talking about the horror movies yesterday, talking about how you're constantly trying to raise the bar and top previous efforts. How does three stack up to one and two? You know, I think Jigsaw saved some of his uh, most shocking games for three. Really? Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, it's very fast-paced. Uh, it's uh, rather a harrowing journey for uh, uh, not only the audience, but uh, some of the characters uh, in the film. Uh, do, you ever, do you ever shake your head? Do you have to turn away from the screen? Can you believe some of the stuff they're getting away with in three? Does it surprise even you? Yeah, it really? does. Uh, but you know, it's uh, it's the fans that are uh, that are you know. I talk to a lot of uh, you know skateboarders come up to me on the street, and we talk about uh, the films. And I say, what do you like about them? You know, they say uh, oh, it's they're just so exciting. But they they're really interested in some of the concepts that we talk about. You know, like. Uh, appreciating your blessings and stuff like that, believe right. it or not. You'd expect t- to hear, I, I like the part where the aorta gets no, cut and no, blood yeah, squirts exactly. under the camera. You, but. you would expect to hear that, but uh, they really talk about some really interesting things, which is somewhat gratifying for an actor, you know. Now, I saw you coming into the, uh, the studio with a big uh, film canister under your arm. I think that means you brought a clip along with you from the film? I did indeed. Okay, yeah, do you, yeah. you want to set this bad boy up? Uh, t- which, I didn't know what was in the can. I was carrying it for <laughs> them, but I don't know, I don't know what was it in it. It could have been a WMD for all you know. You should really peek right. inside those things before right. you come through security. Right. Here's, all right, this, this, the, you, you are in this clip, Tobin, so let's check it out. Here it is, Saw 3. Hello, Troy. I want to play a game. Despite all of the advantages and privileges that you were given at birth, you have returned to prison again and again. More comfortable in chains than you are in freedom. Tonight, we will see how far you are willing to go to break those chains once and for all. Live or die, Troy. Make your choice. I really, I want to hear you order that dinner salad in that voice. Tell yeah. Me. I really do. I, uh, I'll, I'll have the arugula with the grilled chicken. <laughs> That's awesome. We should have cut back to the puppet for that. Tobin, thank you so much for coming on. It's my pleasure. That was a lot of fun. I'm happy to be here. Everybody, Saw 3 breaks down the theater doors this Friday. I know you're going to go see it, but make sure you bring all your friends as well and get the arugula. It's delicious.